Hi, Dan Barwick here from Paradise Ridge with our 2015 Barrel Select Cabernet Sauvignon from Rock Pile. This is our flagship wine. and I haven't tasted this wine in, uh, in some time and uh, I think it's time to explore and see what she has to give for us. Mm, beautiful, deep, rich, concentrated fruits, blackberry, currants, um, there's some raspberry in there, very, very pretty on the nose some lavender and some violets really wants you to explore this wine so without too much to do let's do it <clears throat> wow wow super concentrated rich dark just coats the tongue and just flows through beautiful long 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 finish and this is really really crying out for food but is actually quite enjoyable just as it is on its own. Um, Rock Pile is a very special place. This is from the Rock Pile Vineyard, um, which is at 2,000 feet elevation and is the highest vineyard in that appellation. Um, it's a blender of uh, probably about 90% Cabernet. There's uh, some Cabernet Franc and some Petit Bordeaux in, in this blend. Um, and the, the Petit Bordeaux bringing some uh, of that prettier fruit, blueberry and, and the Cabernet Franc sort of more red fruits and maybe a little tobacco and, and cedar into the fold. Very, very complex wine that uh, if you leave it in the glass uh, for a few minutes, the, the, the aromatics and the character change. Um, I think uh, if you're going to have a meal with this or enjoy it, open it maybe an hour or so before, pour a glass and let that breathe and I think you're going to really watch this wine shine for your evening. So a little, another sip of this. Mm, there's pomegranates there. There's some mm, sort of nice smoky character coming from the cooperage, which I, I rather enjoy. Very savoury. Um, there's some, some slightly herbaceous notes, which is part of the Cabernet's profile, which I think is special. The, the acidity is, is wonderful on this wine, which will make it a really good partner with lots of different foods. And uh, the alcohol's in check at uh, under 14, I believe. Um, really making a very, very food-friendly wine. So I'm going to have another sip of this and try a little ham here. If you're doing this food and wine thing, a little sip of wine, a little nugget. Mm. That really sends things off and then taste that ham with a little wine and you'll get what we call a, a super wine food pairing culinary experience. Wine changes so much with the ham, brings out a whole different facet of, of fruits, still very good. Brings out the softness of the wine, makes the wine's character change. Mm. Wonderful. I think you're going to enjoy this as much as I am, and I'm going to leave you while I uh, finish this glass of wine. Cheers, everybody.